The federal tax rate is graduated. That means higher rates for higher income. Here are some snapshots from an IRS data sheet. The first snapshot starts with 1913, the very first year the feds began taxing income. You can compare the lowest and the highest rates, which are underlined in red. This chart shows the top income tax rates under recent administrations. Now Obama has proposed reversing the tax cuts of George W. Bush. And this restored rate would be far lower than the rate under Reagan. The same situation pretty much holds true for the proposed estate tax rate restoration. Obama has only proposed to restore the estate tax to where it was in the opening months of the W. Bush era, not the higher rates of earlier administrations. And as you can see from this complete list of tax rates, from 1913 to 2010, the wealthy have always paid at a higher rate, starting from the very beginning of federal income taxation. Fair, ability-based, graduated tax rates have always been in place. This is not a new proposal from President Obama. So why is it suddenly socialistic? If Reagan's higher tax rate was okay, that is, they didn't have these teabaggers going amok all over the streets, then why is Obama's lower proposed top tax rate class warfare? Could it be that all this right-wing red face screaming be nothing but Obama bashing? Could it be the conservatives are bombarding President Obama with any lie and distortion they can manufacture? I think you know what's going on. Remember, Obama is just a stand-in for all of us on the left. They're just concentrating their fire on the leader instead of all of us. But sometimes they do get some of that backscatter.